then some of you will missing the uh, destroyed castle tile. So you can say it's some kind of art piece. All the acorns grew by themselves. Also, here's a little sneak peek on my next build. Hello and welcome everyone! Yeah, today we are going to take a look at how to grow different kind of trees and different kind of plants, also some special ones. And how to grow acorn, uh, wheatgrass, ivy, grass itself, then also the special properties of cotton plants, and how to get uh, this thing over here. It's also very special. Yeah, and I think this will be quite fun. <laughs> so, but first things first, the last update just released and some of you are struggling with how to unlock the hairstyles. Um, there's a little trick, uh, or a tip, a tip more or less. Uh, just build this room, so make it two by two, make it completely out of wood. I don't know if you need the furniture, but uh, we want to be humane here. And then you give it to Hayden. He's a bard from uh, Moonbrook. I'll show you what he looks like. This one. Because all he needs is a small room, uh, very little fanciness, and the ambience is natural. Which, which is one of the easier ones. So just make this, and then you have completed the tablet target make your villager happy or something like that which some of you are missing yeah, and if you want to unlock the epilogue all you need to do is build <laughs> just <laughs> just build uh, 45 different room recipes so those are uh, this year 45 of those I think I've got around 120 130 in total now and then you need to unlock every unlimited item from the Explorer's Shores. And you need to visit another Buildertopia island at least once. So you go into the notice board, you can either enter an ID like mine, it's always in the description of uh, the newest videos. Or you just go to today's top islands. And then it uh, tells you to press R3 to visit this island. Oh, nice one. And then you're set. Then you have the epilogue unlocked and the hairstyles. I think it's the most important part. Yeah, and if you unlock the binoculars, like those here, you need all 60 challenges cleared. But I will also make a video about that once I uh, found all the footage of every tablet target I made. Uh, then I will also release it. But yeah, so... Many of you are struggling to complete the item list. I am now at 99%. So we can take a look at what is missing. So here we have the weather cards, although they don't count towards the 100% goal. Uh, what is hard to get, uh, to acquire? So this DLC food, which is new, the weapons, just look into every workbench, like uh, this, for example, you'll find at the magical workbench, also this one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So those, is, uh, those are from the different islands, like this one from Rhymey Reef, and uh, this from uh, Soggy Scary. Then some of you will missing the uh, destroyed castle tile, which is on the next page, this one. This is in Moonbrook Castle, just uh, smash some blocks on the ground. This is from the temple here on Isle of Awakening. The DLC food. Yeah, I'm still missing this. We are doing this today. And also this. Those two you will see today. And we'll fill in those holes also. How to make the saplings, seedlings and so on. Yeah, 
This is hard to acquire, it's from the normal golem on uh, Sunny Sands. It has a rare drop chance, I think about 10 to 20 percent, maybe less, with how frequently he wants to be your friend. <laughs> At him like four times after another wanting to be my friend and I'm like, oh, give me a drop, give me the Cantlin shield. Also from the magical workbench, then there are some item unlocks. Also those, uh, I made a video, like uh, collectibles. You just put down 10 trampolines and then you'll unlock the zoom pauline, also with the books. Yeah, and if you're still missing some pieces, uh, make sure you craft everything at the workbench. So it will track for you what you haven't built yet, This with this hammer icon. When you push on it, it will show you all the items you still need to build, which you haven't crafted once yet. So this is also pretty handy. And there are all the unlockables, but I don't have any more. So, but now, let's go to the main attraction of this video. We want to plant some seeds, some different kinds of seeds, yes. <laughs> we want to unlock in the settings first, uh, I, I uh, disabled it, so I can show it off, the plant growth. Because uh, this video will completely cover, I think, almost everything that grows over time. We turn it on now. So, what you need are some different kinds of seeds. Um, we'll start with the tree. For this, you need acorns. And what you want to do is put down the tree you want to harvest or grow and put it next to where you put the seed in, in the earth. So I already used the fertilizer so it grows uh, much faster, I think five times faster. And here are the two special trees, we'll see what happens with those, because uh, this one is very special, you can pick it up with your gloves, which you can to, uh, with other trees I believe. Ah, oh, this looks so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a tree lover. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're a nice tree. Mm. <laughs> oh, forgive me. So, we'll plant some seeds now. Ah, and it's sprouting already. That was fast. Also, I believe the size which your tree will have in the end is determined by how many trees are right next to it. So when it has some space, I think like two blocks at least, then it will grow into a big tree. If it doesn't have that, it will stay normal, I believe. At least from what I experienced in the past eight months. So let's see what happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's starting to grow. So the growth cycle is always, I believe, uh, 30 seconds. So you will only see changes every 30 seconds in the game. And there we have our first Plumberry seedling. Come here, you. I want you. Ah, a plumberry seedling. Yay! <laughs> so let's regrow the plant, the tree. Ah, and there everything grows. So let's see. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are those really palm trees? Oh, maybe those. And what are those? Silver birch. So maybe the range is a bit bigger and also those cotton plants they will make silver birch trees grow in a radius of uh, I believe eight blocks or something so maybe that's what conflicts with the palm seedling here so what will we have here mm -hmm. so let's farm a few all silver birch maybe I should remove the cotton plants that's not how I plant it what the so, we'll remove them. <laughs> I believe they change everything around it. But here you can see, he is also a silver birch tree growing. So maybe you want to keep some spacing between the trees. Or I'll just do it in an, another area altogether. And here we have the sapling. And the silver birch sapling. The palm tree sapling. We are still missing the cedar one. What are those? Also silver fish. What the? Hmm. So let's try it again. Maybe the cotton plants did something to my trees. 
because normally they always choose the tree and they can see the tree just grew. This one also. They will grow over time when they have space. So let's see. Norm normally the seeds will grow into that kind of tree that's right next to it. I don't know if the cherry blossom tree and this... Uh, wait, what is it called? What are you called? Tell me your secrets tree. A pine tree. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if those two will work. I have no idea. Where is my cedar sapling? What the? You know what? If they all want to become uh, birch seedlings, silver birch, we'll just remove it. That's what you get for getting our way. And also it's now a big one. Ah. So maybe the silver birch tree is a bad influence on all the seeds. Sometimes I also notice that when you don't water your crops, something uh, will grow instead. I think the silver birch trees were growing instead. I also don't know if this one works because uh, this is a withered, a withered plumberry tree. So maybe plumberry trees will come out instead. Uh, and here are the normal plumberry trees. Okay, this works. So, but palm trees and silver birch trees are working fine. So I believe we'll just remove the big trees for now. So you can grow the pine tree, the cherry blossom tree, and the withered plumberry tree. And we also need uh, the normal hammer. So we get the tree stump. Because we also don't have it yet. But those tree stumps also make some nice uh, natural looking chairs. All palm trees or plumberry trees, what the? So maybe it doesn't work with the cedar tree. So let's take some snow. So, but unfortunately you can't use the fertilizer on the snow patches. So we'll let them grow a bit slower. If this still doesn't work, you can also use those two items. Or just use uh, this ice lolly for the Powy Jowy. Jowy Powy Jowy? Uh, I forgot the name. Uh, he will make those floor pieces which look like snow, and there also those cedar trees will grow. You can't farm the snowy cedars, because uh, they don't have it in their DNA, that snow is on top of them, but you can uh, harvest the normal cedar trees, and with this you can also farm the palm tree seedlings and stuff, but you need to place it on somewhere where it isn't sand, and then the golems will make some sand patches for you, with cacti and palm trees. Uh, what do we have here? Plumberry, what the? Okay, it seems like you can only farm them with the Powy Jowy. And we also want the Powy Jowy. Where do we have him? Is he on Hyrule? Ah, oh. So now he's in our area. And yeah, while we add it, let's build some of those lollies for him. And let's see if he will make some cedar trees grow. Ah, we also have a hotel right next to us. Let's sleep there. Ah, what a nice nap. And we got some... Oh, did you sleep at my side? Hello. Wait, where's Babs? <laughs> she can't see us leaving the hotel with another girl. Ah. <laughs> I'm freaked. <laughs> so... Where are the tree saplings? Powie Chowie. No more lollies for you when you don't give me some tree seeds. Or tree saplings. So maybe you want to take him over to a material island and farm <laughs> those trees over there so he doesn't transform all your precious grass to snow. Ah, ah, what do we have here? Oh, oh, oh. A cedar seedling! Yay! The first one! Finally! Ha. It's taking forever. But let's increase the time of growing. Yeah, but as you can see, the cedar trees are the most annoying ones. The other ones are pretty simple. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah! No. <laughs> I don't want him to override the fertilized area. Oops, wrong button. Ah, and there you saw <laughs> the grass grow. And some more. I can't put you up now. 
Ah, there they are. So I need one of you. Uh -huh. And when you want to farm the blossoming shrub, he has, uh, I believe, 3% chance to show up when you plant down the medicinal shrub seeds. Ah, and we were lucky. There are two right at the start. It could also happen that you plant this whole field and nothing will come out of it. And I'll show you what you will do then. Oh yeah, now you can see. So we were really lucky with those. So what you want to do, you harvest them with your hammer. So you can pick them up. And the other ones you just destroy with your sword. And also some seeds will go missing over time. But then you just rinse and repeat until you get your medicinal shrubs. Hmm. Still shrubs? As you can see, the blossoming shrubs are quite rare. I heard from Bad Wolf, it took her around... Uh, what did she tell me? 170 shrubs? Until the first blossoming one came up. You want to refertilize at some point. Also a good way to farm medicinal leaves. Water will also reduce the growing process of normal plants. And there we got our next one. Let's take it and destroy all the other ones. Yeah, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. And here you can also see the grass is growing right now. It's growing over the earth. And the first three vines were like two blocks high. Now it's three blocks high. And those are three blocks. So I planted like three vines with three blocks and three with two blocks. So this already grew. Hmm. Okay, the ivies are a failed experiment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I built the aquarium at some point and there I hang down some ivies and they grow like, like crazy. Maybe they had more space or something like that. Because in the end I put down like two ivy pieces and it was like 12 pieces long. And here we got the ivies. So I placed two down at the top and now they have fully extended downwards. But uh, I know in my aquarium build that they also generate those vine apples. Uh, they haven't spawned yet. Oh, I wanted to use my sunny card. Oh, stupid weather. Not working with me. <laughs> you can also extend them down. And uh, yeah, sometimes they will grow those vine apples. So you could just create a spot, like nine of those. And everything will be completely filled with plants. Because he does it override. As you can see, he has like nine of those 3x3 three three spots. Where he plants one random shrub, flower or other plant. And then, when he goes again, you place a different one at another spot. So this way you can completely cover a 9x9 nine nine area completely in different kind of kind of plants. But here, as you can see, that's what it looks like when you put the whole field down like this. It's also a good uh, opportunity to farm those. So and then you just smash down your hammer and you have all different kinds of plants. Normally I would recommend to craft this item for free, but unfortunately they fixed it. But the um, multiplayer glitch... Ah, and there's also a blossoming shrub. Yeah, he also generated those. Yeah, but the multiplayer glitch still works, and I think they will never fix it. Hopefully. As far as I know, the updates are over now. Oh, also, we have bamboo seeds. You can also grow them. But I would just recommend to go to the bamboo bluffs and farm them there. It's easier. The bamboo sprouts? I'll take a few. Mm -hmm. So this works also. Perfect. Thank you for growing. And here you can see the wheatgrass is also growing. We are making a test with two, three, four and five long patches of wheatgrass. So I believe uh, three by three is enough, but I think the bigger the field, the more will grow, but we'll see. So we got four over here. Maybe the water is in the way. And uh, this piece over here, which hinders them from growing. Because uh, down there, I planted like three by three patches. 
a few in-game days ago. So this was the initial spot and everything else grew also here, like this here. And here I planted down two. So I believe it was this one and uh, this one I believe. And then you can just harvest them and have wheat grass forever. Yeah, and here you can see how the grass grew over time. So we had this in the beginning and now it grew all the way over here. And as you can see, it will leave exactly three blocks to the next corner or wall, as you can see here, open. So you need to put them down on an open field and then they'll extend all the way. You can also see it over here. Also grew a bit more. And yeah, I, I worked a bit over there. Ah, and while we're here... Oh no, wait. <laughs> I wanted to show you something else first. And also here you can see how they extended. Now about uh, 14 in-game days after they have finally reached the ground. So, and yeah, what I wanted to show you. I picked up some of those crop plants, uh, like those here right now, and put them down on normal grass. And the thing is, when you put them down on normal grass, they don't grow anymore. So you can just keep them in their shape they are right now and you will have some awesome looking flowers like those almost look like orchids and here like some bell flowers. Yeah, and uh, I really like them. Also those potato plants. So those are from butter beans. Those I believe are from the pumpkins, tomatoes, aubergette potato, uh, strawberries, I think this is buckwheat, those also, this is a coffee plant, this is a chili pepper, I think those are from the, the melon, the honey melon. And then you can just keep them, I, I really love those here, ah, I will put them down somewhere. But that's, uh, that's the only way you can keep them in their shape, so you need to wait for them to grow and then just pick them up with your gloves and put them down somewhere where they can't grow anymore. I believe everywhere except tilled soil. And maybe you have already seen it, what I did over here. So I did some kind of experiment. So you can say it's some kind of art piece. So here you have all the stages of every crop type, what it grows from and what it grows into everywhere. Ah, I really like it. And here you can see the butter beans. Ah, very pretty. Coffee plant, the corn, sugar cane, the wasabi, yes, it's called wasabi, the rice plant, the wheat, the honey melon, strawberry, cabbage, potato, leek, and the other ones. <laughs> he only called us the other ones. <laughs> also, here's a little sneak peek on my next build. Ah, looks nice. <laughs> ah, maybe you can guess for which contest this is. And also, while it's still growing, if you don't know how to get cactus seeds, what you want to do is destroy the crown of the cactus with your blade. Just jump up and cut. And then always a seed will pop out. That's how you get them. Away with you. So now we are also growing some cactuses or cacti. So what we'll do, we'll just make some lines of uh, cacti. Nothing else. So the cacti are not growing anymore, hmm, which is odd. Then here we have Okay, we can't use fertilizer on cacti. Yeah, they take some time. Ah, they're starting to grow. Ah, also. But we still want this to grow. I think it will take some time, because uh, I believe the cacti needs to be at least three blocks high for it to grow. And they're very, very, very slow growing. So we'll just increase the height of some of those. I don't know if they will grow this way. At least well, they look better. 
So let's remove all those and see if it works. So let's just use 10 high cacti right next to each other. Let's see what happens. But I'll keep an eye on it. And here I fixed the cactus garden. And all I had to do is build a fence around it, put down a door, so it counts as a room. I think it's important that it's a room, because I also did it in the Japanese version. And yeah, after that, like three, four seconds, uh, the first... Uh, wait, what is it called? Cacti ball. Cacti ball. Yeah, I already got four of those only from those gardens and they grow around uh, don't let me lie I think every six in-game days so they're a bit slow or you just build a few more of those and it's also important that the distance is between eight or nine blocks so uh, otherwise they won't spawn um, the distance between each cacti ball needs to be eight or nine blocks so the next one can spawn over here so, and with the flowers, you want to do the same, but make sure to use different kinds of colors, because this will change the outcome of what will grow. Everyone to bed. It's getting late. Hey, what's up? Where are the flowers? What am I still missing? So, we need a normal cedar tree, then we have all the trees, and then I'm only missing this one, slime flower. Oh, I had like thousand slime flowers in Dragon Quest Builders 2 in the Japanese version. <laughs> and I didn't even care where it grew and uh, so on. And now it doesn't grow, of course. We'll make some spots free for it. Maybe those are not enough colors. Maybe it needs more than three different colors, maybe four or five. So maybe like this. And let's sleep. Let's see what kind of woman turns up <laughs> at my hotel room this night. Ah, you again. And, and Maroth too. Hmm. Maybe I was only watching. <laughs> We can't let this be a habit, so we'll just now wait until they finally grow. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Right one minute after, <laughs> it grows. And there you can see a little slime flower. So I think you need at least four different colors of flowers, then it grows. I tested it out and the flowers, you need to place down at least four colors of flowers. Then this one spawns. I, I did it. I placed the fourth color and as soon as I put it down, it spawned right away. But those also spawn quite rarely. I believe like every three or four in-game days. And don't mind Zara there. She's not naked. Uh, she's wearing a bikini, I believe. Ah, you're, you're wearing your bikini now? <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Yay, a fright bulb. Wait, is this my last item? Wait, let's check. No. What am I still missing? Ah, this one. Wait, huh? is this my last item? Yes! Yes, that's the last one. So, now you know how to grow every plant, every tree. Those you can just farm from the Rimey Reef area or the Perfuma Laguna. Laguna Perfuma? But now the fried bulbs you can just farm occasionally. Just get back to your flower field, harvest it, and then the next one will grow. So, here you can see all the trees. I don't know if there's a big cherry blossom tree. I believe I saw some in a video once, but I could never replicate it. Or also, when you want to let your villagers farm some fish for you, just put down different yeah, kinds of waters and put a chest right next to it. Then they'll farm all different kinds of fish. Oh yeah, also, while we wait, 
you can harvest acorns if you want. All you need to do is put down 2x2 two two and 3 blocks high, those bark blocks, and then you want to put some leaves on top. I believe uh, 6 in total will be enough, but we'll make 8. And also, if you want, you could make a complete line out of this tree, like a wall that looks like this. But it needs to be two blocks thick, it's important. And then it will grow some acorns over time, but you will see. Where's the acorn? So wait, we'll make it a bit bigger, because on my Hyrule build, I have this massive line of those bark pieces, and I had like... 100 uh, acorns in a few days. I'll show you later. Still no acorns, what the heck? Something's not right. So, I increased the height of the... Well, let's, let's call it tree. Uh, it kind of resembles a tree. <laughs> and now the acorns are finally growing. So this took like... Oh, don't let me lie. Uh, 12 in-game days, so you can say like one acorn per in-game day will grow. So, But now we want to check my Hyrule build because there I have a huge tree line and there you can see the acorns grow. And also now you can change the name, finally, finally. So right now I'm rebuilding Hyrule, that's pretty far. I also got some plants in my inventory. I still need to use the right side of the castle, ah, this area, and the graveyard. So it's not finished yet, as you can see. <laughs> ah, poor castle. So let's take a look at the tree line. Ah, there you can see some acorns already. So, this is what I did. All the acorns grew by themselves on both sides. So maybe you want to increase the height by uh, one block more. So it's four blocks high. Maybe it's uh, the reason why it didn't work. Maybe they changed something. I tested it already with three blocks and it worked. But as you can see, they are starting to grow at the fourth block height. So maybe that's the reason why it didn't work. And then you can just go there and harvest them. So you, I would look away from the tree and then just jump and hit them. Like this. That's the way I farm them. Or just duplicate them with the multiplayer glitch. You can also hit them with your normal hammer to get the normal seeds. Yeah, and I'm going to share this island as soon as I've made a tour with that haunted house over there. So also, if you have some requests, uh, like I recorded on my PlayStation 4 how I did the five different rooms for my residence, maybe you want to see it. Uh, I also figured out a way to boost your attack power to more than double. I think I'll also make a video about that. Um, what else? The barn? Yes, the barn video will still come up. I still need to put some poop inside here. Like those pieces here. Yeah, that's the first. We'll continue with this. At another point in time. Blah. I need to wash my hands now. Oh no, I, wa I need to wash my hands. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's it. So, if uh, there's still something, like some plants, that are growing, or there are some tricks that I didn't mention. You just can tell me in the comments, and maybe I'll make an additional video about it. And uh, yeah, water plants. I didn't do water plants because I wanted to only include like normal plants in this video. So I believe there are some water plants like those over here, like the one in the back, which reaches out of the water. I think this one also uh, grows over time. And there we have a little whale, a whale shark. Hello, how are you? 
I'm great, thank you. <laughs> ah, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, fright bulbs, cacti balls, acorns, ivies, vine apples, wheat grass, normal grass that grows over time, the trees. I think that should be enough for one video. Yeah, and I believe that's all for today. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour and uh, I hope you can use those tricks to grow all your trees and get your item compendium to 100%. If so, please consider giving it a like. I help you, you help me. And this is it for it. Uh, for it now, yes. <laughs> So I hope you have a great day, morning, or evening, or good night, or good afternoon, and I'll see you in the next video. So, bye! And one already got a few points. This is uh, at 351 right now, and I believe uh, it takes a bit of time until it gets to the daily rankings, because I, I uploaded it around one and a half days ago. And it's still not inside the daily rankings. Don't know if I've missed it. I don't know. What the heck, Maroth? You have a girlfriend now? Hmm.